Hi everyone, welcome to Themes Code. Today in this video training, I'm going to show you how to create a slider using Smart Slider 3 plugin. By the end of this training, we'll create a slider like this. I'll complete this task in six simple steps. Step number one, install Smart Slider 3 plugin. Step two, import demo slider template. Step three, display slider on the home page. Step four, edit a slide. Step five, add new slide. Step six, slider settings. Well, friends, watch this video to the end to see how I get the job done. Okay, now let's dive in. Firstly, let me show you how to install the plugin. As you can see, here I'm on the dashboard of my WordPress website. To install the plugin, navigate to the plugins tab on the left sidebar and then click add new. Now to the right, place your cursor on the search plugins box, type smart slider 3. Well friends, here is the plugin we are looking for. Now let's hit the install now button. Now click activate. The plugin is activated. Now on the left sidebar, you can see a new tab called Smart Slider. In this part, we will basically create a slider with a ready-made template. Okay, let's start. To import a pre-made slider, navigate to Smart Slider, click Dashboard. Now, click on the Go to Dashboard button. And this is the dashboard of Smart Slider 3. By default, Tutorial Slider is imported. To import a new template, click on this big green button called New Project. Here, you have three options. Create a new project, start with a template, or import the previously created slider. As I'm going to create a slider using slider template, just click on start with template. And this is the template page I'm going to choose from. On the left sidebar, you can choose templates by category. Here, by default, tree is selected. Therefore, all the free templates are shown here. You can search your desired template from this search box. Well, I'm going to work with Fisher Slider. Just put on the cursor here, click on the view button to see it before you import. A smart slider is now showcasing this slider to you. The detailed documentation of this template is mentioned below, such as setting, tutorial, layers, etc. Now close this tab and get back to the previous page. Okay, I'm going to import this template. To do that, put the cursor pointer on Fisher slider again and click import. Wait a while, the template is successfully imported. As you can see, three slides have been imported. Slide on, slide two, slide three. To view the slides, click on this preview button. Here, you can change the size of the screen and see the result. Also, 
preview the slide in the full screen like this. OK, close the tab. Now, click on the close button. This is the name of the demo slider, Fisher slider. You see here an ID number of this template. This number can vary, so don't worry about this number. And these are the settings tab. If you need any changes to display your slider differently, these tabs will help you. I'll discuss these settings sections later in this video. Now, let's apply this slider template on our website's homepage. In this section, I will show you how to display the slider using a popular page builder called Elementor. To go to the home page of the website in the new tab from WordPress admin panel, hover on home, right click on visit site, and open in, in the new tab. And this is the home page where I'm going to add the slider. For adding the slider, I use the Elementor Page Builder. To work with the Elementor Page Builder, you need to install and activate Elementor first. Please check this video on Elementor Page Builder in our YouTube channel to know how to install it. You will find the link in the description. OK, let's add the slider on the hero section on this page using Elementor Page Builder. OK, click Edit with Elementor. Now, Elementor will take you to this Customizing section. Well, below this header section, we would like to display the slider. To do that, we need to create a section. To create a section, hover on this section. On the top, you will see this Add section. Now click this plus icon. I hope you will see something like this. Now it's time to add our slider. Let's come over here. On this search wizard box, type smart slider. And here it is. Now drag a smart slider widget and drop it here. A pop-up window shows up to select a slider. I select my imported slider and click Insert. See, the slider is added successfully. To save this, click on Update. To preview this page, click here. See, the slider has been added successfully and it works well. Well, friends, here you can see a wide gap above the slider. And it doesn't look professional. Let's see how to fix it. Let's close this tab. Click on this Edit section. Layout tab appears in the Edit section of Elementor Customization panel. Here I need to change Set Content Width to Full Width and then Set Columns Gap, No Gap. Now click on Update button again. Now preview this page again. See, No Gap is shown here now. Let's close these two tabs. Now I'm here on the panel of the Fisher slider. In this section, I will show you how to edit a slide. You need to change these slides individually. Here I'm going to customize the first slide. To do that, hover on slide on and click edit.
Okay, now let's change the slide background first. On the slide setting panel, style is selected by default. Note here that this pop up setting panel will appear automatically. If you don't see this like this, click slide here, it will be seen. Here you can find the slide background option. Click the plus sign and choose your desired picture. Click select and that's it. The background of this slide has been changed successfully. Also, you can change by dragging this window focusing dot. These are the layers under our row. You can copy this row and paste it like this. You can delete this layer like this. Okay, now let's change this text. To do that, click on this text layer. Here on the content tab, I write on the text box. Welcome to Themes Code. Now insert a link that will work in the back end of the text. And change the target window new. On the style tab, you can customize this layer in many styles as you can see. I just change a few things. The font family, average, change the text color to green, change the size 27, and text align center. The animation will be available in the pro version. In the same way, you can change this text as well. Okay, now. Click the save button to see the change. Here I'm on my website homepage. Now you can see the background image, heading text of the slide on have been changed with color. If I click here, it redirects me to themescode.com website. Okay, I close this tab. Let's get back to the feature slider panel again. Now you can add another slide on the slider. Just click on add slide. Click on image. Here I choose this image and click select. See, the image is successfully added. To customize this slide, click on Edit. If you need to set a layer as other slides have, click on the Slide option, hover on Paste, click Layers. See, a similar layer appears. Now, you can't drag it. If you want to change its position, click on it. A setting panel shows up. Click on a style tab. Here you can find a lot of options. Just scroll down and see the position section. Change it to default to absolute. Now you can drag and place it anywhere you want. You can change this text 
just click on it. See, the text panel appears. Click on Content tab. In the text section, you can write whatever you want and the text will display here. To see the result, save it. Now go to the home page. Refresh the page. See, the selected image is shown here with the slider including the updated text. Now, go back to the previous scenario. Go to Fisher slider panel once again. Scroll down. And this is the settings area I mentioned earlier. By default, General tab is selected. Here you can change the name of this slider and the thumbnail. Okay. Now, let's go to the Size tab. Here you can change the slider size, breakpoints, layout. I prefer the layout full width. Below, some special settings have come. For full width layout, okay, I keep all these settings and go to the controls tab. Here, some categorized settings are found, namely general, arrow, bullet, text bar, thumbnails, and shadow. Here I change the arrow sign. Now go to animations. Here two types of animations you can work with. Main animation and background animation. I keep the regular settings and go to autoplay. By default, autoplay is off. I turn it on and change the slide duration 2000 milliseconds. And I keep the rest of the settings. On the right side, you can see action step. Click on it. Some actions appears. Here you can change your slider type, clear cache, export slider as HTML, or export slider as .ss3, duplicate slider, and move to trash. Now I need to save all the settings to see the result. To do that, click on the save button. Okay. Let's see what happens to our homepage slider. I go to the website's homepage and refresh again. You can see it's a full width slider. The slides are changing frequently at a certain time interval. Hovering on the arrow sign, the color is changed as well. Okay, friends. That's all for this video training. I hope now you can create a slider, something like today's video, and display it on your website. If you learned anything new today, hit the like button, leave your comments, hit the subscribe button in case you haven't yet. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.